is joining me now are Kim Forrest, Chief Investment Officer at Boca Capital Partners. Also, Michael Cagino, President and Portfolio Manager of the Permanent Portfolio Family of Funds. Thank you both for being here. Kim, we'll turn to you first. Are there names that you like in this kind of environment that you don't think are overvalued? There always are names that are um, misunderstood and thus mispriced. So that's my basic philosophy of how to run money. And the way to do it, though, is to have a longer timeline and then have themes that you play into. So there's two themes that I like. One is um, pretty much in the news right now, and that is semiconductors are undersupplied, and it looks like that's going to be for a long time. But then there's also the um, low interest rate environment is driving housing, and the millennials are moving into that family formation part, and they're driving housing. So those are two areas that I'd look for bargains right now. And, and we're just showing some of your picks right there. You say Fidelity National and Intel are two of your top picks. Just take us through what you think are the fundamental cases for each of those. Sure. So for Fidelity National, that is a title insurance company. And anybody that's um, bought a home or remortgaged a home has had to pay title insurance. And what that does is it allows the mortgager to understand who really owns the house. And hopefully it's the bank, right? Not like some weird financial thing that went on in the past. So they rarely pay out any claims, but they collect a lot of money. And that's one pick that we like. And of course, there's Intel. And yes, they've had stumbles recently, but it looks like the new CEO is going to be able to turn that company around more than, uh, than Wall Street currently expects. And even in this week's news, it's going to uh, try to help the automakers correct their imbalance of chips. And I think that shows some thinking out of the box, which is desperately needed at that company. All right, Michael Cugino, you, you've run top-rated funds for years now. Your job is to go out there and hunt for value. So are there values that you are finding? And if so, what kinds of companies are you looking at? Yeah, there are, Dom. And my philosophy is very similar to Kim in terms of there's always opportunities. And so even in this market, which is not cheap by any means, there are a lot of names in a lot of different industries that are trading at below market multiples. Um, some of the names that, that I would think of are Freeport McMoran on the uh, commodity side of things. We're looking for stocks that are going to play the reflation trade, obviously, that are liquid, that have dividends and likely increasing dividends and maybe recession proof or uh, inflation proof or a situation where market interest rates decouple from the Fed's desires and, and mm -hmm. be immune or at least neutral to those situations. Freeport hits on all levels. The supply demand on the reflation trade, um, you know, the, the likely scenario of a, a weakening dollar with global growth and inflation, uh, these types of stocks hold well against inflation. Another name would be the um, Lockheed Martin. Obviously, a uh, big portfolio in aero, you know, aerospace, whether it's defense, whether it's commercial airlines, whether it's space. Um, and we see that the, the global macro environment out there right now with respect to reflation trade on the commercial side, with the dangerous world we live in on the, uh, on the defense side, and the, the space race, which is something that I think is increasing in value and, and attention. Um, and Lockheed's right in a sweet spot there. The third one would be Morgan Stanley. Um, obviously, in all these names, very well known. Um, but, you know, the financial companies hit great numbers today. We're expecting big numbers from Morgan when they report. Great portfolio of financials, whether it's asset management, underwriting, syndication, um, trading, et cetera. And, and all of these are trading at multiples um, forward next year's earnings of, of below 15 or at 15, well below the, the current market multiple. So we think they're all good long-term long opportunities. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.